Hi everyone, it's Mike here, your friendly neighborhood pixel dealer, and we're on episode 18 of the show, which is just wild how far we've come. The episode is a cameo field affair with lots of talented artists involved, and we have the reimagined EP with fantastic reimagined versions of five XRL7 songs. So let's have a deeper look at the creation of the episode and the EP. And I just want to say, if you want to support XRL7 and get some cool rewards in the process, we have an XRL7 Patreon with some really awesome incentives like exclusive music, early access to content, personal messages from characters, and even more behind the scenes and sneak peeks. Also feel free to chill and chat with us on the XRL7 Discord server. We have a great community and you may see some cast members there too. So let's get into it in this installment of XRL7. So how did this episode come about? Well, I watch a lot of music YouTube and it occurred to me that it might be fun to pay homage to, parody and satirize the sort of things you find there these days. Reaction videos, covers, interviews, live versions, sponsored ads and put it into the in-universe XRL7 version of YouTube called VChan. Stick it on the screen, PJ! We have so many awesome artists reprising their roles in this episode and some new ones too. And on the music, I thought it'd be really fun to explore the online cover scene and actually have some reimagined versions of XRL7 songs. The first person I approached was deathcore YouTube legend Andrew Boehner for a cover of the flagship XRL7 song, Apotheosis Man. What's up everyone, Andrew Bainey here. You might know me from my YouTube channel, my TikTok, or from my deathcore band Carcosa that I play guitar in. Basically, Michael reached out to me and asked if I wanted to be on an episode of XRL7, and I happily agreed. I really wanted to see what I looked like in a pixelated format, and I was not disappointed. This project was super fun to do, and I want to give a big thank you to Michael for including me in the project. Hopefully you all enjoyed the episode where I was a shameless influencer plugging my sponsors. Not that different from real life, but hopefully you enjoyed it. This video is sponsored by Star Strike Raiders. Oh, it was just sponsored. It's a mobile game that's really cool. I like Electronic rock bot Kindred was reworked into an intimate stripped down acoustic version by Annie Wallflower. My name is Annie Wallflower and I covered the song Kindred from the XRL7 series. This is my cat, he's probably blurry, his name is Orion. I am so excited to be a part of this project and I had so much fun reimagining this song in an acoustic setting, especially since acoustic covers are like my forte. You could say that I'm kind of a YouTuber, I've been doing acoustic covers here for many years now. So thank you to everyone involved in this project. It's been super awesome. And thank you to everyone who's watching and listening. So a little bit more about me. I'm a music artist slash singer songwriter slash musician all around from the US. I've been doing music for a little while now in my life. I guess you could say that it's my passion. So if you're interested at all in my music, be sure to check me out on YouTube. I have an original out on Spotify currently, and I will have more this year. I really love collaborating with people, and once again, being able to work on this project has been amazing. So I can't wait to see where the music takes us in the future, and I hope to see some of you guys hanging out on my channel soon. Heartshake Hole, originally featuring the powerhouse Lauren Babick, was taken on by synthwave extraordinaire Patrick Russell. Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Russell and I'm a recording artist located out of the Pacific Northwest. I hope everyone's had a chance to check out the latest episode and enjoyed my take on the song Heart Shaped Hole. Sometime last year, Mike reached out to me and asked if I would reimagine a song from his universe and, and my style, which is kind of like Stranger Things. It's kind of this modernized version of the 80s and kind of looking at what our world would look like if, if things hadn't really changed. And so, uh, you know, we've got kind of these older synths, but I'm, I'm doing modern productions behind them and using vintage drum samples, but processing them in a little bit more modern 
uh, light. You could almost call it, instead of like steampunk, it's like synth punk, right? So uh, I, I enjoy getting to do that. I've got my own channel on YouTube and my music is all on Spotify if you want to uh, check it out. But I uh, want to say a huge thank you to, to Mike and all of the other artists that came together to make this possible. It's a ton of fun to be a part of this and I uh, can't wait till next time. Mendoza brings The Conjuring, originally featuring Mikey Altered, to a darker, heavier place with her rendition of the track. So you want the Nikki Simmons took Gatekeeper to a really heavy rock place and showcases her incredible, versatile vocals. So you want the prize. She also voices Jessica, who we originally saw from episode 16. I don't really like metal. What? I'm so glad this episode has finally come together. A lot of work has gone into it, and I hope you enjoy it and the EP. Please do check out the artists involved, as they are incredible. And if you'd like to support XR07, as well as all the usual means, please do consider checking out our Patreon, where we have all sorts of exclusive rewards and it really helps a lot. Take care and catch you later.